Boxing knockouts can be dramatic. All it takes is one well-placed shot landing perfectly on target. For one, guys likes to go comp- There have been numerous stunning knockouts throughout boxing's glorious history. Performances that have had fans on the edge of their seats and on their feet in applause. That's why they say you should never blink during an all-action fight because you never know when it will end. And it can end quickly. Without further ado, here are our top 15 punches that shocked the boxing world. Mitchell Smith followed the most outstanding knockout of his career by stating he is the best featherweight on the British scene. Oh, what about that? What about that? And that's an overtip still not up. Great finish when it came. Let's watch again. Oh. Start with the right hand. I think the left took the most of the damage. Yeah, the left took it. Touch gloves. God bless. Ray Corona, the referee. Price came into this fight undefeated, and the fact that he could match Wilder's height and reach added spice to this fight. Before the battle, both opponents were theoretically evenly matched. After the fight, they were anything but matched. In the third round, Wilder took matters into his own hands when he unleashed his monstrous right hand directly towards helpless Price. We went across the Atlantic too. I knew the right hand was going, you're going to get hit, regardless. you're going to get hit. It's just when you're going to get hit, man. It's funny that most people say that Victor Ortiz is the bigger of the guys. two guys. To date, this fight is considered one of the most controversial in the sport. From round one, Mayweather used his speed, skills, and accurate right hand to tag Ortiz repeatedly. It looked as if the fight was progressing in his favor through the rounds. However, after getting hit with a headbutt, Floyd knocked Victor Ortiz out while he was talking to the referee and trying to apologize. Oh, and then as Ortiz tries to score the chip, nine to ten, it's all over. Even a decade later, boxing purists still argue and debate whether the knockout was fair and ethical. In a fight billed as heavyweight history, a 38-year-old Holmes was tempted out of retirement by a $3 million offer from Don King to face the fearsome Mike Tyson. In just four rounds, Tyson was too fast, strong, and dangerous for the former heavyweight champion, dropping him twice to the canvas before the fight was stopped. That round at the right. Oh, a big right hand, and down goes the former champion. He heard his legs are gone, and in comes Mike. It was a big right hand. The furious champion had lived up to his promise from eight years before, destroying Holmes to avenge his hero Ali's brutal defeat back in 1980. And much more accomplished fighter. Here we go, round one of this championship fight. Betting underdog Michael Bent dropped Tommy Morrison three times on his way to scoring a first round technical knockout. Morrison got out to a good start, pinning Bent in the ropes and throwing him off balance with well-placed punches. But he was caught off guard by a sudden straight to the chin. Right by Bent, and Tommy Morrison is down. So Morrison connected it. Now Morrison has been down before in fights that he has won. And now Tommy Morrison gets hit for the left. And he with Morrison visibly shaking after the knockdowns, Bent continued to pound him with another strong combination that put an end to the fight. In 1992, Roy was still on the rise when he knocked out Art Serrano in his 17th fight as a pro. After a slow start to the first round of the fight, Jones delivered a quick jab followed by an overhand right to his opponent's head. When the camera zoomed in on Serrano's face, his expression conveyed the story. It was almost as if his eyes screamed, what on earth was that? Hardcore boxing fans will never forget the scene of Campbell getting knocked out cold by a single left hook in March of 2004. 
Campbell got too comfortable with the beating he was handing out to his opponent, so he decided to mock him in the fifth round by dropping his hands. The Australian accepted Campbell's invitation, and the outcome was a flawless left hook that sent Campbell crashing to the canvas. Okay, thank you very much. Not smart. Maskev scores one of the biggest knockouts in boxing history when he connects on a right hand that sends Hasim Rahman dropping through the ropes and onto the ringside table. Fights about Rahman. Oh. Right hand puts Rahman on the floor right next to me. Rahman fails to return to the ring within the given 20 seconds handing Moskev the upset victory and inciting a brawl at ringside. Any legs, yeah, and there's cool. the shot. Yes, that was over. That fight was done with right there. At all times, obey my command at all times. Touch up and good luck to both of you. This is the moment boxing legend Arturo Gatti left his opponent fighting for his life after one of the most brutal three-punch combinations you'll ever witness. Gatti, clearly the bigger man, took control of the fight in the second round. Moments later, the decisive combination landed that would change Joey's life. So much bigger than he does. Yeah, he's got a 15 pound weight advantage. Every time he lands a shot, it's, it's abundantly clear. The knockout would leave him fighting for his life, hospitalized for a week after sustaining a brain injury. Right uppercut. And you see why we were worried about Joey Gamal. Has he discovered already? The answer to Tony's style. Holyfield got off to a good start, winning two of the first three rounds. Tony, however, dominated Holyfield from the fourth round, pounding him with a series of strong combinations and left hooks. Tony eventually puts the only four-time heavyweight champion in history down with a body attack in the ninth round, prompting Holyfield's corner to throw in the towel for the mercy stoppage. Lennox Lewis's title defense against Oliver McCall. Oliver McCall pulls off a major upset by defeating WBC heavyweight champion Lennox Lewis for the first time in his career. Lewis got caught slugging with the power puncher and was knocked out in the second round. Slicks out that job. Oh, it's a short right hand. A short right hand. Hey, and Lewis doesn't look good. The champion got to his feet but remained unbalanced promoting the referee to stop the fight. He called it perfect. Lewis is incredulous. And, and, and he threw it, and there it is. And her top big right hand, Whitaker is down the right hand lead. WBC welterweight champion Pernell Whitaker scores a dramatic knockout against his undefeated competitor. Whitaker was behind on all three scorecards, going into the 11th round, and he was at serious risk of blowing a big payday against Oscar De La Hoya. While not known as a fearsome puncher, Whitaker rocked his opponent with a big left hand and pounded him until he collapsed between the ropes. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new videos.